Hey guys, Mancake here, another video. Um, this is a Friday review. Last night, um, two of the teams that I root for, um, aka the Mancake Sports Network, played last night. Uh, the, uh, the Chicago Bulls faced off the New York Knicks. A uh, big night, uh, Derrick Rose, Joakim Noah returning to the, to the United Center and facing the Bulls. And then another game, Blue Jackets, the young upcoming Blue Jackets, um, facing a Canadians team um, that was going in, I believe, did not have not lost a game. They were 9-0-1 going in. Uh, they lost their first game to the Blue Jackets. What is that? 10 nothing. which in hockey, I believe it was the first time someone has scored 10 goals since 2013, so or 2012-2013. So it has happened, but it's it's – not really common. Um, I watched bits and pieces. I flip. I flipped back and forth between both of these games. Um, Jackets, obviously, it, the the score says it all. Ten nothing. Um, I think F Foligno had um, Foligno, the rookie, uh, the captain, had two goals. I don't think anyone got three goals. Um, yeah, Foligno, two goals. Anderson, two goals, one assist. Bob Roski, 30 saves, look awesome. Um, like I said before, Blue Jackets will go as far as Bob Roski takes them. Um, I think he's the one. This is a young upcoming team. Um, we have Brandon Saad, who's been on um, Stanley Cup champions with the Blackhawks. But for the most part, our best player is Bob Roski. He's the, I think he's the one you can argue is an elite player, a uh, goalie in this league. So the, as far as he takes us, I think we'll go. So, I mean, obviously, obviously last year, like I said in the previous video, I think last year we started 0-8, 0-9. 1 is definitely better than 8 or 0-9. Um, I watched that, and then I watched the, I watched bits and pieces of the game back and forth, and then I watched the highlights. Um, it was basically everything they were shooting was going in. It reminded me of um, anyone who's played NHL, the video game series, when you have the, the difficulty – up way too low and it's basically everything's going in that's what this game reminded me of everything they shot went in and it was nice to see um so yeah the blue jackets play tonight and i will i will make a separate video of that it'll be the preview of, of saturday in the man kick sports network um blue jackets win 10 nothing go to 5-3 and 1 uh, i believe they're still fifth and i know i believe they're, I think I looked in the Eastern Conference. They're like eight, ninth or tenth. Obviously, it's early. It doesn't really matter at this point. It's just nice to see them not. Most years, they get off to such a bad start early in the season. They can't um, breathe. They have basically have to fight their whole way. And by the time they – so when they do play well later in the season, it doesn't really matter because they're already down in a hole. Um, so it's nice. This is, I think, one of the better starts they've had. Um in the past couple of years, which is always good. Um, on to the next game, uh, the Chicago Bulls. Like I said before, Derrick Rose, Joakim Noah come to town, come back to the United Center to face their old team, the Bulls. Um, this was one of the bigger off-season stories in the NBA. Um, basically, it was a story of which it's something that I've noticed every Bulls game so far is. I think we've scored over 100 points every game, which was a struggle previous years. Um, we would be a defensive team that would try to hold the team to 80, 85 points, which when we did, we won, but it was hard to do. against. I mean, teams now, I mean, you face the Warriors, the, the elite teams, and even the Cavs, the elite teams in the NBA, they can score. you got to be able to score with them. And um, I think so far every game, every game's been 100 versus 100, which I like the fact that we're scoring – regularly over 100 that was something i don't believe they did in previous years um like it says right here uh rose 15 points 11 assists carmelo anthony 25 points seven assists um rose anthony noah seemed to play pretty well together um like i said i don't think it'll last i mean rose has had uh trouble with injuries and is the knicks i still don't think the knicks will go anywhere this season I do think um, they're two. They were two and three. Even with this win, they're two and three, and we're three and two. So I mean, I still think by the end of the season, the Bulls will be a better team than the Knicks. Um, I think the Bulls 
have more. I mean, I guess they both have new players. We're basically built around Butler with new players, and then they basically have Carmelo Anthony built around new players. Um, but like I said, Dwayne Wade balled out. He had 35 points, so that that's basically the story of the game. Dwayne Wade played very well last night, and we did not um, help him out at all. Um, Dwayne Wade, 35 points, 10 rebounds. Jimmy Butler, 26 points, 5 rebounds. Miritich, 14 points, 6 rebounds. Normally, it's pretty normal stat line. We just didn't. Um, they were, I think, trailing almost the whole game. Um, and obviously, it ended up being, I think, 13 points. Yeah, 13-point win. So, I mean, um, the Bulls definitely, um, watching this game, I I was watching both games, obviously, watching the Blue Jackets up 10 nothing. I had a better better feeling about that game than this game, but I – it's one of those games where even when it's close, it didn't really feel like we were going to win. Just some games have a vibe. So, I mean, hopefully they get them back in New York. Um, I think they play in New York here soon. But, yeah, hopefully. Um, but, yeah, here's the – some more of the um, key stats. Yeah, for the most part, yeah, like I said, uh, we got off to the 3-0 start, which was good. Uh, I think we've lost two in a row now. Uh, hopefully we can rebound. Like I said, they also, like the Blue Jackets, play tomorrow. Um, and I'll have that in a separate video. Um, but yeah, that is the um, recap of Friday. Um, my team's on Friday. Uh, Blue Jackets win 10 nothing over the Montreal Canadiens. And like I said, I'm new to the NHL. I don't know if the Montreal Canadiens' early good start is a surprise. If they were supposed to be good or not, I don't want to know the teams like I do the N like I do the MLB and NFL and even NBA. Um, nine one to beat a team that bad nine zero and one. On first thought, is a good thing, but it depends. Or Canadians supposed to be bad, and this was a, this was a surprising start, and they and they just played like they're supposed to tonight or what? I don't know, but um, overall good. Uh, Blue Jackets obviously look good. Bulls. Get in tomorrow. Keep working. Um, other than that, if you like the video, be sure to like it, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thanks for listening.